All right, uh, welcome back. Hey, sawa sawa. Mambo mengi lakini masani machache. Lakini karibu sana. My name is Brian Sankwa and I'm so excited to be right here with you. This segment is about mnongonezano. Ama ina itwaje? Kuongea, kubonga. So bonga points pale. <laughs> but first things first, let's start to interact with us on our social media. And that includes Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter at Y254 channel. On Instagram is Y254 underscore channel. You can find us on the hashtag Y in the morning everywhere on all our social media. But they took on our TikTok and come on, come on, who's the best dancer on Y in the morning? You should be there like right now. Say, 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 say. But anyway, so from that, you can find me personally at Brian Soko 101. That's my handle on all social media. Now back to the conversation. Hapa in studio. I have two powerful gentlemen joining us today on this segment, MCM. And we're going to have an, e an, an interesting conversation, by the way. Everybody wants to be successful. Kila mtu, anataka kumeku money, unataka ku, you know, to, to, to network, you want to be a billionaire, you want to start a business. But then, kuna tu vitu flani unafauzi avoid. Unajui ila songi wa kardinali nasema avoid those people. Here is where we're going to get those exact hacks. Who are some of these people they should be avoiding, especially when you want to be successful in life? But also, tell us on that hashtag. You want to come out again enough to avoid on your journey to success. Avoid those people. But who are these people? <laughs> in the name of a cardinal. And joining us live in the studio are two powerful gentlemen, like I said, on my minute right, and it was Victor Ocheng, and then we have uh, Silas, so Silas Abogi. Thank you so much. Karibuni okay. sana. Tumeshukuru. All right, mchanga mke kidogo. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start with you, Victor. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you do uh, in life? Kemasha, it's a funny question, like, you know, you get it. What yeah. do you do in life? Nini, nini, kama boy child. Okay, I, as Victor, do a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. But uh, majorly, I blog. I do write articles, mostly on health, but specifically on uh, fitness, because I'm so much enthusiastic about uh, fitness. So... I love writing on fitness and I would like to inform people more about physical fitness exercises, uh, fitness apps, and even link people to those uh, gym instructors that they would want for fitness because I believe that uh, that is one thing that many people would want right. uh, to uh, maintain their health. Okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting area. <laughs> it's like una net, una say, network no part of the right, you know, profession. Yeah, yeah. Quote, take away forward, but matters health. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Silas. Oh, I'm Silas Abogi. I'm a Kipenda Unite Syracuse Pedro Paras Carolina Kauti Gualta Gorana Guatamela Protrobin Thromboplastin Fibrinogen Fibrin. Okay. Um is over your sort of but miss out. Moving on swiftly. Okay. Mimi ni CEO a CEO wa SL Media. CEO. Yes, wa hey, SL Media. Hiyo ni title nzito bwana. Lazima uko na title nzito. Yeah. Yeah. Vile nafaa. Mm. Sawa sawa. Yeah. SL Media pale mm -hmm. uh, tunafanya ma edits, video editings, we do uh, adverts, okay. uh, we do uh, picture editings, okay. and all sort of media related issues. Okay. Yes. In short unasaidia wase ku bring out audio video Professional. Yes, yeah, professionally. So, so. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So let me start off with you. I, I, I feel like you're already successful because when you see <laughs> CEO, you know, okay. <laughs> chief executive yes. officer, mm -hmm. meaning before you put this space, before you get this space, you're like, you're so respectful, mm -hmm. you're working so hard, yes. yes, you have things you're running, but you have to avoid it because before you have to say title CEO, lazima we share very a very orderly life in Yena leads to our success. From your experience, now where you see it even from your profession. Kuna vitu kama gani tu mse, like ni obvious, bro, kiji ingiza kwezi vitu wa umek, lazima uwate. Kwaza kabisa, acha niseme fake friends. That is there. Fake you, friends. You have, you have just to avoid them. Uh -huh. Yeah, wale marafika mbao mkona upale, wenye wanaji, wana, 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 wana kudanganya maybe ni marafiki zako, lakini, uh, in real sense, they, they, they want to bring you down. Right. You just have to avoid them and know you are real friends. Right. Yeah, vitu zigine kama pombe, mm. you right. should not be into much into them t so that you can be successful. All right. Yeah, sure. Point, I'm going to but mm -hmm. then I'm looking at it, how do you uh, determine or how do you decipher who are thinking real 
now you seem real as in where do you draw the line but then, yeah uh, I, I think it, it's mm -hmm. necessary like nimesikia watu wengi kusema ah we ni fake friend bwana we you seem to real ni factors kama gani was in a determine we ni msem real na we msem ni fake ama we ni set to just a one time thing ilikuwa tu ile friendship ya temporary na ikaisha but then i call emotions cuz mm -hmm. my friendship is na kuanga na emotions Quilly. kama relationships mm -hmm. though wasa okay achana we na feel same type we ni nini nini mm -hmm. okay kwanza acha ni sema kusema fake friends does not mean that maybe kama mara, rafiki yako amekwambia it eh, umemwomba kitu amekwambia ah sina utasema it you ni fake friend hapana yeah. we should take that line a fake friend that line I'll, I'll say a fake friend ni yule mwenye ukikuja na kitu nataka ku prosper maybe anaona gere anaona wivu kitu kama hiyo anaona gere kweli so ni chuki chuki okay mm -hmm. all right interesting tutarudi back to your point okay. later yes victor okay um so for me i think that mostly we, we do have a lot of people around us and uh, it, it becomes uh, as you have said it becomes sometimes hard to determine who is the real friend and who is the fake friend right. so i think in such situations we should all most of the times we should think about uh, the people who are there with us uh, uh, at the times when we are facing the most troubles and the times of our happiness because uh, you, you find that you have a lot of people around you when you are enjoying life when you have a lot of things to celebrate but when you are going through the hardest moments you find that almost everyone is busy having dealing with their own problems like unapata una unataka mtu akusaidie na kitu but then they are like you know i'm working on this thing so i can't really help you with this and that but as human beings i mean we have to move on we have to learn to stand on our own without these all the friends that you have and for the few people that will, will be there with you those are the people that i do call true friends and uh, the people that you should avoid in life are people that are trying to drag you behind wherever you are making a step for example for us as youths we do have these situations where we have people around us most of them are, are talk to us on a daily basis but they don't really give us conversations that zinatufanya to move forward like right. for example niko na rafiki anataka most of the times like we just go out have a drink to piga sherehe but when we try to simba yeah we also piga sherehe to our college it yeah yeah okay kuna wasio piga sherehe na our college it but a lot a lot of it sometimes it's i i feel it's dragging people back because okay. when you sit down all you think about is sherehe I, i would want friends around me when you attack uh, we sit down we talk business we talk things that can build us in as much right. as we do sherehe but we also talk about things that might build us right yeah uh, i want us to switch gears to 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 my relationship sasa uh but a story uh, hakimi player paris saint germain and he's a big fan as well uh wakati ame 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 jaza well tiake ni nini ni ndo hiyo amepata wife wife ndo hiyo anataka ku file for divorce and anataka kuchukua half of what this guy owns and then later on they found out that everything that Hakimi owns is registered in his you know mom's name and then uh, at some point uh, we had a conversation with some uh, with the friend I can use as in can the type of woman you marry be an obstacle to your success or be be uh, be a hindrance to progress in life and then kuna kuna different opinions and ningependa kusikia tu is it an obstacle like ukikuja especially ku choose demo na seto na and kwanza huyu demo anafaa kuwe demo aina gani aha inafaa kuwe na right specific qualities ama ni demo tu cuz kila demo na this are boy child anyways they said there's every woman for every man you know mimi kwangu nasema Uh, when it comes to choosing a uh, uh, partner you should look into that keenly because it it really matters there are some girls who just bring obstacles yeah so uh, sorry uh, just just a little bit interact with yeah. us on our social media on that hashtag why in the morning and i'm speaking to victor ocheng <laughs> just in case i had it mentioned seated next to me victor ocheng he's a blogger and then next to him is silas or silas abogi he's a content creator in short he owns a media production company but that's where you can get them uh, you will see your social media to us the tailands of the broadcast but okay. endelea bro sorry i had to 
to say that once again. Mm -hmm. So you have to choose a kidney and on your partner. Yeah. Because kuna wale madem wengine wanataka tu wape hii, wape hii. They, they can't bring a new idea to what you people can do together so yeah. that you can be successful. Alafu pia tunasema kwamba <coughs> let, me, let me bring you back to my culture. In yeah. Lua we say that uh, if you may find a girl or a woman who pengine tuseme how kuwa successful before. But there is a type of a woman, if you bring into your life, automatically you, you'll be successful. And that is the best girl you should know how to, to choose. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it matters, the type of yeah, woman you settle in it terms really of making progress. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You can be scared from the girl child next time, but mm -hmm. since you're going to boys, it's hard. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, for me, I think what he's saying is two-way traffic. Like, yeah. just as he has said, you might, and uh, let me just say this, uh, marriage is where people mess, um, would mess or make the best success out of it. Because the woman you marry or the man you marry, for lady's sake, in your life uh, is the person who is going to determine the steps you're going to make in life. Like, let me say 70% of the steps that you're going to make in life uh, to ensure your, your success. So most of people at that point do marry because maybe of things they see like for us guys tunapenda yeah. kuangalia physique and they're like you know who yeah. mameza and this the woman that i want to marry but uh, i tend to think that guys should actually look at the girls or the people that they are marrying from a perspective of what is she bringing to the table if you marry a woman who will push you forward uh you you are sure that you're going to be successful so on the Akimi story, I mean, it's so unfortunate. Actually, uh, the social media people are saying, oh, don't marry uh, mama's boys. But I mean, Hakimi probably had seen the red flags and okay. he knew the kind of person alikuwa meowa. So probably he knew maybe there was this and that about the lady. So he chose to transfer the money or the wealth to the mother but anyway as guys i think you should actually vet and see the person you're marrying so that you make sure you don't make a mistake and marry someone that will drag you back and uh, i think from my point of view uh the girl that i've had in my life you're hard Emma, you're, con you're continuing to I'm still continue have. to have that girl <laughs> so she's really impacted my life in my writing Okay. And uh, she's made me really understand who I want to be. And the fact that she's competent, competent right. uh, she's made me really want to do more and more and more without getting back. Because she's, every day, she gives me the reason to wake up and do my, what I do. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, back to you. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think still on the same, same point? Like, marrying right. Is, is this something that, you know, uh, most of us in the society we live in, especially Mabocha, like we all come uh, uh, Victor come mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'll come say, oh, first sight, first impression, oh, I'm like, nim rambo, ni, 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 ni. but then, have you checked at the red flags in between? Like, what happened to, let's know each other, let's court, mm -hmm. let's date, and then later on we can see if we can settle for marriage. Because I'm sure there's people you can date even for, I am to date for 10 years, I have to date for 10 years, I have to date for 10 years, 10, I have to date for 10 years, I have to date for 10 come on. Now, what do I mean, like, I will meet a week, I will have a wedding the following week. So, uh, marrying right, how, how does it help? Okay, okay. What, what will happen first, is let's say you are still dating. You date first, then you know the type of a girl you want to marry. If you see that this kind of a woman I want to marry is not the one uh, which, who, who is going to give me success on my side, then ni lazima tu draw back. Yeah. Al alafu, it's really crucial for you to have a, a, a good woman as a man. Yeah. Alafu pia, mungu pia pia, yeah, and a letter, the best, the best woman in your life. So it's really crucial for you to to just ha choose correctly on a woman you want to marry, because right. it really matters. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I had a, a crazy thought in my mind. Karibu uh, mm -hmm. What happens to those men who don't want to marry? I'm out. But then we'll come back with that letter. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about toxicity mm -hmm. okay. uh, in terms of uh, friendships. I'm a toxicity in a sense that. 
Madeni pia ni toxic by the way. Mm -hmm. Kuna mse uko na madeni mingi bro, mm. yani unaisha wewe. Lone star la kila mahali. Probably, probably madeni zinaza kuzuia kukua yeah. successful. You know, you try to make, a, maybe umepata kajobo. Maybe uliomba loan ya 50k, but hii job inakupa 20k. Ukijaribu kulipa, each, each and every time unajaribu kulipa, yes. haizongi. Mm -hmm. Unarudu pale pale, pale pale. What do you think about toxicity in terms of debts? And then tutai shiftisha pia kwa relationships. I think toxicity in terms of debts, um, tuseme vile umesema hapo weti uko na loans mingi na maybe the works you are doing is not really paying for that. I think you should find uh, better ways or other activities that you can do, multiple of them, so that you can do a multiple of uh, works and pay the debts and grow successfully. Yeah. But yeah. unajua, <laughs> kuna, kuna, kuna hii research ili kuna sema, it's mm -hmm. easier for a lady kupata job first than boy child. For example, meenda mali audition, wana kuta mechua, wana 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 In terms of now getting this job to sustain yourself as a man, lazima kuna vile utatama, kuna unajua for a man, yeah, yeah. you're meant to build yourself up mm -hmm. kiasi. Mm -hmm. uh, lazima uji build in terms of finances, you know, uji build in terms of patience, emotional intelligence, mastery. Mm -hmm. But then how, how, how does it just happen that, you know, lazima go through your hustle, your mm -hmm. as a man. But then on this other side, it seems like they can have it easy. And as a change at the tomb, say, I ended the tomb, say, rich. Why is it not easier for you to get a rich person very fast, but it's easier for? You know, deemed easy. I'm not saying it's easier. Deemed. I'm using the word deemed. Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, rice. <laughs> yeah. You know, we men, as the society have put it, is like we are the head of everything. Right. So you just have to work hard and uh, be the head and provide for your family. So it right. is not easy for you just not to, uh, you go to uh, any woman that you want to date if you don't have s nothing. Kuna Tinder, Kuna Tinder. Itakuwa ngumu sana. Itakuwa ngumu sana. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, uh, Victor? Okay, um, on the first point that you're talking about, about debt, I think first of all, my principle as Victor is, I wouldn't take a debt that I, that you I'm in a debt pay. or a loan that, that I can't pay. Yeah. So I always look for something that I can take and pay within a short time that won't give me issues mm -hmm. as I move on. Uh -huh. uh, um, and I think uh, for, the, for the story about society, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's normal. Women have chances and it's something that you are not going to avoid or underlook. It's yeah. there and, and we, are, we are there with it. But as men, uh, with this condition here, you should always strive to do much, do more as a guy to make sure that you, you stand your place. Yeah, and uh, women, uh, are at times they, they have the opportunity to do whatever they do and they'll shine. But you as a guy, what do you have? Work hard and work hard and work hard. The chance that they have is theirs and you can't put them down from there. So you have to give it your best in order to stand out. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's switch the toxicity back to yeah. relationships. Yeah, okay. uh, can, uh, how impactful it is to a point always move ahead? in life, how do you can reach your goals? I believe at some point you need mentors, you know, you need okay. people. I'm sure New York I'm going to look up to, like I'm going to achieve. I'm going to look up to SNL, I'm sure I'm going to say, when you look up to, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going But then, what are you doing to become like this person? You know? That's the question, Apokatikati. So how do you answer yourself, Apokatikati? Uh, for you to be like the person you are looking to, you have to work hard first and uh, put your goals in order so that you can achieve them. And uh, in a relationship where you have that girl who is going to be, a, be toxic in your, uh, whatever you are doing, I think you have to get rid of, you, you have to work on it, yeah. All right. Yes. All right, okay. add, add in something. Uh, okay, for me, I mean, in relationships, uh, first of all, one of my thing is the first time I find a girl, I vet her before I talk to her. E-vetting, Sasa. Yeah. E-vetting, Donini. <laughs> Vetting her 
uh, it's all about, uh, I mean, getting to know things without asking her. Wow. Oh. Getting to know That's things about That's a superpower. It's like studying her. someone. Yeah, when studying I'm studying, you can take notes silently. Without asking her. Yeah. So within this period, I know a little about her. Mm -hmm. Then when I get to talk to her, I ask her about things about her as well. And she'll tell me things. And within that period is where she starts lying. And I know, no, this is not the girl. But, but you'll she, tell when she's lying. Will you be able to tell? Basically, because I think from my experience, uh -huh. I've ever I have ever known that this girl is saying the truth or saying the lies All after right. knowing the information that I've gathered about her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically because the information I have before asking her is always the truth. So All I right. just ask to confirm if she'll tell me the truth or lie. All right. Then from that point I get to know her better and better and better. So when you get into into a relationship, I know that actually uh, she's she's going to be good or she's going to be bad. And if she, if she's going to be bad, is the bad too bad that I can't handle? If I can handle, then basically I'll I'll still date her. Right. But if if it's something I can't handle, then I'll put her aside. Thing uh, something that I'm trying to bring out is there's no reason to have someone in life that is toxic and is dragging you back. Okay. If you find that there's a girl uh, that you like but she's dragging you back. I mean, Hostiana and Iwengi, just stay back. You'll yeah, find yeah, the right yeah, person. Yeah, I'm about Hostiana and Iwengi, but go loud, Zana. But thanks for that. Okay. Uh, another one, another one that I believe yeah, in as a drug, I'm say behind me. Uh, I stick it. Uh, let, me, let me say it as the last point. Yeah. But now, bill of savings, uh, and I will come and mention having multi sources of revenues in a collector yes. income. Mm -hmm. uh, that can help you, you know, become successful. Just having this TV job, getting another radio job, and maybe running a business. Mm -hmm. But then, um, at what point do you, do you just settle? I'm all about my business. And then stuck in toxicity. Because toxicity is dead. It's dead. It's dead. Kidogo mm -hmm. na save 7k, mtu alikuwa ame mention Naivas, Naivas wana pop up na offer, unaenda unafanya shopping ama wapi. Kidogo kidogo unapigiwa story ya birthday, nini nini usha spend. At what point do you just cut off everyone and say it's me and my world, the rest goodbye? Uh, at that point where you decide that I want to cut off everybody is where you get that uh, your friends or uh, anybody who is around you is not adding value into your uh, your life i think that is where you are going to cut off e value yeah, sasa yeah. <laughs> e value e adding value that mm -hmm. <laughs> i explain sasa hii uh, to say me your friends uh -huh. uh, are just about other things not 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 success they are about bash and everything about uh, history of Bashi ni mekua mbaya buwana. Hey, Every Friday. Mwana mkua genes tuwa siwa sharea hivi, kwa sense of life. <laughs> but anyways. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you, you have to, to know who yeah. are your friends, who are your true friends. Right. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Victor? Okay. I, I think there's one thing uh, once at a time Abel Mutua, the filmmaker, said. Mkurugenzi. Yeah, Mkurugenzi, <laughs> the guy. He once said that you'll see a lot of young people driving out here. you will see a lot of young people doing stuff. Okay. And you start wanting to push yourself to own a vehicle when you're 20 and yeah. do a lot of stuff that uh, you can't do at that moment. But he said these people are doing things that you don't know that maybe you'll follow up and you'll not know about. So I think I, as Victor, I do push myself within the limits that I have at that moment. Like, if I don't have enough funds, I do what is there according to the funds that I have, instead of doing things that may make me go bankrupt. And that includes friends. I, I know umesema tunawonewa tuwa sherehe sana. But sherehe is not bad, but ikienda sana the moment, like, una, unafanya sherehe now and then, and you are the only person bearing the bills. And right. probably in, in that group of friends, you're the one who is earning more. So your yeah. friends are there like loads. You are the one who is carrying pushing the them, carrying the burden. Okay. Yeah, so uh, as Victor, I think when you're having friends, push them to work as you are working hard so that when you move to a step, they move with you. They also make their steps in life. 
so that when you bear a burden, they also bear their burdens. You don't feel like you are the one catering for your friends. Okay. And through that, you, you get to make your friends go with you and there's no toxicity around you. You feel right. that the progress you're making, your friends are making progress, progresses that will not hinder your moving forward. Right, yeah. good. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, sailors, sailors. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, how can peer pressure influence somebody's life to a point when I feel you got stuck, but then you got caught up in a situation where um, you have these fantastic, amazing friends, you know, they have it all going for themselves. Uh, we haven't mentioned, you know, and the is in Guinea. Like my 3,000 cc's, bro, and I'm saying, I could below 30, which I'm not saying is bad to drive a 3,000 cc below 30, but you're just blessed to come from, you know, that point of privilege, you know, Life is a coffee to but then, and I'm sure relating it now to campus life, mm -hmm. pressure to fly you work on a core, you know, to, to try and look on point, to try and get it right, to try and associate with celebrities, to get, you know, them when you, you know, at a pay attention, ill and normal. I'm a part of PHL, you know, leadership also gives you, you know, some sort of authority. But then, uh, at what point do you feel like uh, peer pressure, Imanda, could destroy life? Yako na how is he make progress? Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. Ami kwanza ntasema, this thing we call peer pressure. I don't believe on it. Oh, don't believe peer I pressure? I don't believe on Ni peer hype. pressure. Yes. Forget. Because uh, I say that you have to look who is, you have to know who you are first. Siyo eti iyo kitu ingine eti, marafiki wako wanafanya hii marafiki wako wanafanya hii sasa we pia unafanya hiyo hapa it's not like that so yeah. i don't believe in peer pressure and uh, people personal jeko uh, effect ah mimi haijaini effect ukotoka world yako pale nimekuwa kwa compesi yako eh, pale pole nimekuwa na marafiki wanafanya hizi na hizi but if uh -huh. you come to me uh, yeah. maybe you are judging me according to my friends right. ukikuja unijue vizuri utapata it's not so i don't believe in peer pressure with me Right. Yeah. What are some of the examples yeah. of peer pressure? Examples of, of like easy uh, kutumia mihadarati aswa. Hizo ni peer pressure. Uh, to say mzana za kama contribute kuchapa kindukulu. Hizo eti wewe pia unataka kuonja kiasi. Eti okay. marafiki wako pia wanafanya hivyo. Hizi uh, vitu sijui. But uh, wajako yako pale representing <laughs> ba. <No>. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh -huh. some of those things Right. Yako kiatu flani, we huna, unaona, hey, I should have this. That, that's peer pressure. I'm a I'm a gift you a mm. birthday ni yake mm. bless you. Pia unataka bless you. <laughs> Why not? Mwana pia usi bless you. Mm. Reza bless you na gari. <laughs> <laughs> na, mi natisema, you have to look and uh -huh. know who you are. And know are who first. you are. Yes, hey, yes. Hey, yes. hey, hey. Apo mm. meweza, mm. <laughs> Yes, Victor. Okay, I, I, I think Sailors is right, apart uh -huh. from the point that he doesn't believe in peer pressure, because uh -huh. it's something that is there. And uh, people go through peer pressure. I, I saw in campus, like, there are people you started with in the first year, and you're trying to look back, and Ukozileza, is this the, let me use this name, but like, just in context. Yeah. Sharon, is this the Sharon that I Sharon, saw in first kabom, year? Sharon, kabom, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is this like, the Sharon I knew in yeah, first year? Yeah, I knew in first year. Like, she's changed. so changed. Yeah. Ana, yeah. Ana, ana, kisha, the, the one you said, Kindukulu. Yeah. Uh, ana, he's uh, moving with guys around like this guy today, the next Maybe the next day. Maybe rich Karen, I remember she yeah. uh, Porsche yeah. Chrysler. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and uh, I'm a blessing, you, bro. Yeah, you baraka. To na se man God. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Ni God I'm a letter. Mm -hmm. And you also saw so guys when ye, a guy is driving you, you're walking to school. You're not yeah. even Ubering. You're walking yeah. to school, uh -huh. and there's a guy when you're a driver po LC three hundred. Then you're there. You're like, man, will I really make it to this point? Like akoshule. Now already it feels like I shall make it. Yeah. But after all in life, I think from those, from the exposure, we learn that peer pressure is there. But we just, as he has said, we just learn to be ourselves and uh, move on our track. Like, no, right. I know my path is going to be long, but I really have to go through my path and figure out how to maneuver to make sure that I also make it there one no, day right. in as much as it will be long. No, right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think things to do with drugs and uh, that's what I've really dragged 
people Other back people in, in campuses. Like okay. uh, you find someone doing drugs. Okay, I smoke in local in campus. <laughs> <laughs> um, purely, my blood is clean. Mora sora samanga kinduguli na nanga kwa blood. No nothing. Is it true? Be a thought in nanga ko blankata. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Lucky you, man. They cannot even jam smoke can dukes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for that, I think th- that that uh-huh. together with alcohol and a lot of stuff, I yeah. think that drag people back because I believe Especially that. Especially as a student. Yeah, yeah as a student. Because you're a young adult now. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I do feel that if you're not stable mentally, you yeah. can't really fathom things right, and you can't yeah, uh, make things work ar- around like for you. So yeah. uh, as a student. I mean, you you'll have time for enjoyment, but first of all, focus on your studies. Focus on the things that will make you proceed forth. Then yeah. after that, have enjoyment in fifties. And by there, I don't have issues with wazewa na jibamba ukwenzi wa nenda mabashi and nini. They've made it. Eh, yeah, yeah, they've made jibamba. it in life. So wana kujaku spoil, wana kubali kuspoilika na they've already made their lives. Mm-hmm. You, like just focus. Wana kublind na wana baki nyuma apo. Just focus. Uh-huh. Ukifika uh-huh. your fifties, you will enjoy your life. For now, you make, think you can enjoy life at fifty? <laughs> yeah, still. You believe in enjoying life at fifty, not right now. Yeah, you can enjoy what right if now. What you die in between? In the, in the, you die in the, at thirty, thirty-one, five. Yeah, I know. Now enjoy it. This this lady, Priscilla uh-huh. Shira. So uh-huh. uh, she says the that, preacher. Yeah, the preacher. Mm-hmm. She says that. Your your age is determined by the day you'll die. So if God mm-hmm. knows you'll die at thirty, uh-huh. and now you're twenty nine, like you're super old. Okay. Yeah, and at if twenty nine, yeah, yeah, yeah twenty nine years old, you're super old because you'll die at thirty. Uh-huh. So, I do say you enjoy life, but on the positive side. If mm-hmm. you want to enjoy life in a way that will destroy you or will block you from moving forward. You should actually cut that. You should make sure that the only enjoyment you're having at your younger age is the one that at least can help you or give you a space to build your life con- moving forward. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have something, Silas? To uh-huh. add on that in terms of enjoyment. <laughs> enjoyment, I think this is the right time that I don't know some enjoy. enjoyment near must. <laughs> enjoyment near must. Ni lazima, ni muhimu sana. So I think this is the right time we should enjoy. Uh-huh. Ukifika huko 50 ma 60s bana unachoka bana eh unapumzika but on your peer enjoyment mm. ni debatable because uh, kuna msi hata ulikuwa mention stories za ku kwenda sherehe peer yeah. enjoyment sasa sijui na vari how, how what is the difference in enjoyment like ni vitu gani msi anafafanya ndo unajua huyu ana enjoy na huyu enjoy i'm enjoying and this one i'm not enjoying you know your your design i mean adani enjoyment is about uh, doing what you like to do what you you like okay yes so if you are on the other side where you smoke everything if you are enjoying you enjoy if you are doing other things apart from uh, smoking and uh, maybe drinking and you feel that you are enjoying yeah, then enjoy okay yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm stuck there. I'm trying to get the picture but in this out. Now, what if we say uh, another point now that can yes, help yeah. you move ahead or don't move ahead. Msemanye hana mentors anaweza kosa ku move ahead na kuwa successful. Hauna mentors kabisa. Ama mtu akona mentors. Uh, I don't know maybe if mnaweza uh, share kama you guys have mentors. Does having mentors help you get ahead in life successfully or being without you can also still get ahead in life successfully or either having or not even having it doesn't matter it's, you can still be successful or not be. Vic, uh, Victor. Okay, I first of all I have a mentor and uh-huh. uh, Elena Skaikai from Citizen TV is someone hey, okay. who I've Mr. really followed from <laughs> from like the moment I started my studies up to now he's someone I really look up to. Uh-huh. And, What do you uh, like about Linus as a mentor? He's a guy who's has stages in life like in, in the broadcast industry. Okay. He's really made it out there. Actually okay. he's from my college. He's he's okay. he studied there, he did his diploma there and he's proceeded to do other stuff. Uh-huh. But, but but He's been a good guy and he's the one that who's who's been encouraging me in everything. Oh, you talk? Yeah, yeah. Nice. They say meet another person to meet another <laughs> person. <laughs> so to talk get to talk get come as a show. So so but uh, we have to check out your feedback. Tuko tumekuuliza swali on our social kwa mitandao za kijamii jameni. I'm trying to speak fluent so hear me. Tuliko tumekuuliza swali katika mitandao zetu za kijamii ni watu wa aina gani unafaa ku avoid kabisa kabisa kabisa? 
the ways they could make it in life, okay? I love the fact that Nime Tohoa. And uh, popping up, Anitua Aizo Ngesh. Uh huh. Uh, why do you prefer Wangari Wanganga? Oh, hey, it's, it's still one name. Wangari Wanganga Gadeni Wariboi Chris O. Right, shout out to you. I think we met a to on a watch. Uh huh. Kuna mgena pwana ito uh, Don Sharobaro Mesema Butere locked in. Shout out to you. Aizo Ngesh. Uh, Pia me, me, me mentioned Liz Kihara Mesema Happy Birthday Sui. Uh, uh, happy Birthday to you. And my miracle in here, but the voice is Bekata. It's Bekata, Kidogo, but Happy Birthday. Uh, Emperor. Empress, I believe, Mrege, I'm a Miss A. Mrege, and I'm watching from Thika, Sharon Penda Cartello, and I'm a Kikuyu tuned in. Shout out to Kikuyu Massive. Odiwa Muranga, now we'll have a good I hope see you in the next one. Odiwa Muranga, I'm a Kajado County, well represented. I'm a Kajado County, well represented. Karis Babake, Chris, I'm a Kajado County, good morning. Good morning to you, Karis. Aha, uh -huh. uh, who else? Or where are keyboard? Hey, bro, let's go in the keyboard warrior. But shukran sana, pamoja sana, shout out to you. Ivani Wiz, I believe you should be Wiz Khalifa. I'm saying good morning, good morning to you. Motela underscore source, I'm saying good morning, Val. Good morning, Val. When I miss you, I'm Ivina, your biggest fan. Uh, in Jenagani, Maseral Ananza. Hey, what's in Windy, bro? Good morning, Gidurai 44H. Uko Gidurai. <laughs> so, so shout out to Gidurai Massive, Gidurai 44 ni kondaka saadi tamati, shukran sana, uh, poor millionaire, nasema good morning, Gidunguri, iko lit, 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 pale na lit emoji, Benson Momo, amesema watching, shout out to you as well, Augustin Kavifia, anasema good morning, count me in, welcome sana karibundani, Kelgaza the doctor, anasema good morning, I'm a for my start out to, good morning to you. Kate Rinshiko, anasema Kaganda Muranga, well represented, Kamakawa, Haditamati. Mm -hmm. uh, Slavian Okuku, wa Mlolongo, shout out to Mlolongo Massive, Ndani, amesema Kondani Tusana, Shukran. NJ Terich Mkingpid, hey bro, hey Gina Nayo, imeweza. Good morning, good morning. I'm Samburu Mkost, hey, imeweza bwana. Good morning, good morning. Sharon Pendakatelo, good morning. I think you'll go to Mesoma Kijana on Naivasha. Good morning, tuning from Naivasha as well. Shout out to you. Slavian Okuko Mlolongo, Dani, Dani, Dani. Thank you so much. Kuna mgena na ito Femins Mbone. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Ngong tuned in. How are you doing, Ngong? I'm the Mayaina Smoky Marala. By the way, and then I'm by Mayaina Smoky Zaki, especially Smoky Pasua Zikia Kwa Pili Pili. I'm um, watching live from Marala Town 3D. So, so, shout out to you. Now, I'm going to say, Utumie, Skumoja Smoky Pasua. Uh, STZ, I believe we're in Sani. I'm going to say, good morning. Yvonne Kapture, shout out to you, Yvonne. Good morning. I'm going to say, I love emoji. I'm going to say, And then, lastly, uh, Jela Masi. Jela, because it's going to be a. I'm going to say, good morning. I love my campus sunshine emoji. Shukran sana, good morning to you, Masi. Thank you. Continue watching. <laughs> and that hashtag, go in the morning at Y254 channel. Underscore, Y254 underscore channel on our Instagram platform. And Prince and Brian Sako 101. And on the hashtag, it's still Y in the morning. Let's finish up with you. Uh, but you'll see your social media very fast. Okay, okay. Uh, your story, uh, peer pressure. At what point then do you... Uh, it, sorry, it was story, peer pressure. It was story, of mentors. At what point should you get a mentor that can help you in life? And how do you choose, just in less than like uh, 50 seconds? Okay, with how me, do you choose a mentor or cook's idea? Don't it, get ahead of your success. It, with me, I don't think it's uh, a must that one should have a mentor. mentor. Uh -huh. With me, I'm my own mentor. I mentor myself and I look at myself as my own mentor. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Because self sufficient. Yeah, you vote. I love it. <laughs> we are going to Lina Sky Kai, we work independent. You vote. <laughs> independent <laughs> part. <laughs> so, so I'm going to be on your social media very fast. Uh, Mr. what you do and how people can plug in. So, Victor, go first. Okay. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm a blogger and I blog on mental, uh, on mental health, health issues, and uh, physical fitness. So, I do write at uh, everwhite.com, uh, mostly in WordPress. I also do blogger.com. And I also do week site, but all of them, Evervite Communication. And uh, in my Instagram, Evervite Victor, Facebook, Evervite Victor. And my page, Evervite All Victor. Uh, yeah, that's all. I also do Twitter, but not really Victor okay. Duby. Okay. Yeah. Um, SL Media, Silas Aboge, or Syracuse Prepara, Carolina County, Gualta, Gorana, Guatemala, Prothrombin, Thromboplastin, Fibrin, Ogen, Fibrin. 
anafanya video editings, audio editings, adverts pale YouTube unipate SL Media as uh, at uh, Facebook Syracuse Guarana, Instagram Syracuse Guarana, Twitter Syracuse Guarana. Bro, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Ile ndo kama bogi to Guarana. Is it Guarana the drink? Yes, Your the spelling is Guarana. The yes, drink. the Guarana the drink. Ila maanisha kitu? Mm, ina maanisha to the drink the oh. uh, yeah in short very soon utapa brand ambassador but anyways you guys thank yeah, you sure. so much thank you me. guys did well okay thank and you. have an amazing week thank you as well. thank you all right thank you so much uh, on this juncture hey a juncture <laughs> right now we're gonna we're gonna end it uh, we have come to the end of the show but you, as always you can interact with us on our socials facebook insta twitter at y254 channel instagram specifically underscore channel kwanza yotu yukona blue tick verified and by the way there's been an outbreak of people who are being verified you can pray to be verified so are you ready but yetu tulikuwa verified bila kulipa sao sao sisi ni wale wazi at brian seko 101 that's mine on all social media platforms on the hashtag go in the morning see you tomorrow Tomorrow for Entrepreneurship Tuesday definitely is going to be a fire show. So you got to stay tuned right here. Remember, it's all about great conversations, fun fair, and laughter to kickstart your morning right here on Why in the Morning. See you tomorrow.